Welcome to Boomhauer 69 channel and today Boomhauer is going to read an article go on um, a in the um, go go time gear the um, go time gear life tent here I'm going to read this article and then talk about it afterwards and it's on a website called travel leisures I'll put a link in the description so you can go back to it and, and read the article if you like it says this under $20 tent fits in the palm of your hand and shoppers call it an actual lifesaver that's supposedly the title of the article cool it's by um I guess author Laura Fisher published on August 13th of 2022 and here's a picture of what they're talking about courtesy of the go time gear living living an adventurous Lifestyle means you need to prepare for anything to happen. Most seasoned explorers have their standards checklist for heading out on long hikes or other outdoor expeditions that include things like a raincoat, spare pair of socks, flashlights, and snacks if you want to be truly prepared for anything, but you might want to add this emergency survival shelter, a.k.a. To tent to your your um catch you your kit or whatever. This super lightweight 8.7 ounce to be exact addition to your survival pack unfolds into a weatherproof two-person PET pet mylar tent with an interior that reflects 90% of your body heat, meaning you'll be able to stay warm if you get stuck out for any reason, whether you're caught in a rainstorm, surprise snowfall, or unexpected wind. The Go Time Gear Life Tent will give you some, some respite from the elements, and with a price tag of under $20, it's pretty much a no-brainer. I've seen these before sale for sale on Amazon, and they're like $19.99, so usually after shipping and taxes, it's going to be around probably $20 to $25. That's what I've seen them for, it's like $19.99, like one cent under $20. But yeah, there's a picture of the, it says, photo courtesy of Gold Time Gear. To buy, to buy, you can go to Amazon. I've, that's where I've seen them. $20, originally $25, and I will put an Amazon link as well to the product, so if you want to go to Amazon and check it out for yourself, the actual product, I'll put a link in the description as well for that. Even if you're not much for an outdoor adventurer, adventurers, this product is an essential addition to a car's emergency kit in case of a breakdowns, unpredicted storms, unexpected circumstances of all of all sorts as one reviewer who happens to be a community emergency responder wrote that the storm shelter provided to be a lifesaver when she came across a car wreck during the rain provided shelter and warmth for the victims in addition to its convenient weight the Go Time Gear Life Tent folds down into a compact 5.25 inches by 3.25 inches stuff sack for a scale one reviewer notes that it's about the size of a can of soda or pop as we call it in Michigan. It's quick to set up using trees as an anchor point and fits easily into a backpack in windy weather. You can use rocks or other gear for extra support keeping the tent in place. If you're not around any trees, you can wrap the tent material around yourself as an emergency sleeping bag. The kit also includes a 120 decibel whistle to alert rescuers up to one mile away and a heavy duty paracord cord you can use to tie down or repair gear. The two tents bright orange color will help alert passerby to your presence in pre presence 
and direct emergency responders to your location. Keep in mind, mind that this emergency tent is meant for just that emergencies. It's, it is not a full two-person tent and shouldn't be considered a regular camping solution, as one reviewer put it. I have had to use this. I haven't had to use this and hopefully will not find myself and my son in a situation where we would need to need to but it's a great addition to to a go bag or even just for camping if you subscribe to the the if you bring your own umbrella a d a g e packing along go time gears twenty dollar survival tent it's the best way to both prepare and prevent against its use case okay they're right on that this article is pretty pretty right on that and it's right on that now these tents what do i think about these tents and stuff do i think they're useful crap well i think they're 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 useful for what they're meant for now the problem is is I notice with a lot of people they they get a bad rap these mylar two tenses because a lot of people I don't think understand what they're necessarily meant for because a lot of people see the word tent and they think oh I can use this tent every weekend to go camping or whatever no these tents are designed like they said for that emergency situation now personally I never owned this brand of Mylar tent, I owned another brand called Grizzly, which I never used it. I always kept the, the little tent in my car in case an emergency, because I live in a cold climate area where, where in the middle of winter, I could be easily stranded in the car if not careful, and so forth and so on. So I always had one of these in my car, car kit in case of emergency, if I ever need to use one. Use one. Yes, you can use these as a um, sleeping bag as well, or a simple tube tent as well. You, well, they also, in Mylar products, they also make a um, blanket to the tent, as you see here, and a Wagor sleeping bag, bivy, they call them a bivy sack sleeping bag, and also a rain poncho as well in Mylar Reflective Material. Now, for those of you who don't know much about these, what these are is, again, an emergency tent, like this one here. This is an emergency tent that has a reflective material on the inside. And what you do is, you when, if you're going to set this up as a tent, you find, obviously, two trees, and they'll come with some small cordage rope to make what they call a ridge line, and you run your cordage, you tie one end of the rope to a tree, you run your cordage through the tent, and then you tie the other end to another tree, you try to find two trees space evenly apart, and you set it up like a normal pup tent, or two tent as they call it. And then to stake it in the ground so it won't be blown everywhere, what you normally do with these is you stick in each corner a, 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 a decent sized rock to anchor it down, or you just simply we a heavy duty sh heavy stick or piece of wood or something. These don't have holes in them for to sh put tent stakes in them. Tent stakes in them on, and they also don't a lot of them don't have little like loop tabs, little sew down loops to put your um your your tent stakes in. A lot of these don't have that. You just simply again. Just put some rocks, like a heavy rock, you know, in the corners or a piece of heavy wood to anchor it down. But again, a lot of people run these down and say, oh, they're crap, they're no good, blah, blah, blah. Because I think a lot of people don't realize that they're meant just for emergency use only. And the reason why they have the reflective material is to trap your body heat. heat. Your body gives off heat. Your body gives off warm heat and so what you do is what happens is that body heat bounces off from you hits the reflective mylar material and bounces back and hits you and and to keep you warm 
it, it traps your body heat inside the little tent to keep you warm. So if you're in a cold climate, you don't obviously die of hypothermia and stuff. Now, I personally have a SOL survival mylar blanket in my um, kit, in my survival kit that I currently have that I did videos about before. I have one of those in my kit, but I never use the go time light tent, never own one, but when I think they're a great product to have, I did check them out before on Amazon and, and looked at the reviews, and I think they would be something worthy to check out and possibly purchase. In the near future, I may purchase one and build like a little mini survival kit out of it for YouTube purposes. I may do that in the near future. Now, what I would do if I had one of these right now, I would get one of those collapsible water bottles that come with a little carbina. And I would have one of those kind of hanging on to the whistle. And then like this right here, these are UCO Stormproof Matches. And what I would do is, I would take a few of these right here. A few of these Stormproof Matches, maybe about four or five, and a match striker. And I would throw, put some in with the little life tent if there was room inside the tent. Because some of those little... Um, cases that the little tents come in, they have a little bit of extra room, so I'd have maybe about four or five little, little matches and, and, and another striker and maybe a little, like this has a little piece of cotton tinder or something to help get a fire going for emergency situation, make like a little mini emergency kit, you know, and stuff. And maybe also on the outside, if you're careful enough, maybe like a small, like, little EDC little turn cell razor blade or a little fold up maybe a little knife of some sort to maybe for for cutting purposes but yeah and then I would also maybe throw in some little small packets of um water purification tablets I know aqua tab uh, the company aqua tab makes a few little little packets of, of water purification tablets and I'd add a few of them in there so if you have a water bottle you can know and you're and you're in a cold rainstorm you can collect the rainwater in your water bottle and filter out you know obviously filter and put a few of the little tablets in there to filter out your water if you don't know what water purification tablets are they're just simply a little tablet that you stick in water and it cleans your waters to make it safe safe for you to drink it basically kills some of the bacterias and stuff that you will find in certain types of water or you know kill that bacteria stuff and make the water safe to inhale and drink and inject in your body basically so yeah and that's what i would do again what i think about these things i think they're a, a, a great product to have in an emergency in your emergency kit you know whether you're building an emergency car kit or an emergency hiking pack or just simply you know you're in a area where you have really bad weather like hurricanes tornadoes storms or whatever and you want to build your emergency repair kit i think it'd be good to have some of them now usually in pre-made emergency kits they they do sell these oh cheap old little like knock off ones of these in pre-made emergency kits you'll find them a lot in like your pre-made emergency kits if you go on amazon or something and, and i've seen them before in there me i never owned the go time life one i owned one by grizzly i never personally had to use it it was always kept in, in my car in case of that emergency situation again these are not designed to take with you to go camping every weekend. These are only designed to be used in an emergency situation. Now, if I had this one right now, along with my um, orange um, survival bimmy blanket, I would set this up in, in an area where I could be noticed. And this one of the things I would probably do if I had other gear with me, like say a handsaw, or something to cut wood and stuff. I would try to build me like a little wood shelter. And this little two tent, I would probably cut it, you know, cut it, you know, and and then use that as a tarp if I didn't have anything else to use that as a tarp to build my shelter to make like a a roof over the shelter and then probably maybe add some sticks and other stuff over top of it. But basically use it as like a tarp for a shelter configuration. That's if I had 
a saw with me or something thing. But if I didn't and I just had that in a few little survival kit like matches and stuff, then I'd find me obviously two trees, tie up the ridge line, set it up in between two trees like like you do a normal two tent pup tent and then if I had some matches with me, build a fire to keep warm and stuff. So yeah. Again, these are only for emergency use situations. Shin and also in mylar material, they make blankets, sleeping bags that they usually call bivvies, and they also make rain potions as well, and also the tent here. So I hope y'all learn something from this. You know, this is how I learn about bush bushcrafting and survival. I never went to any like schools on stuff. I know about the the self reliance outfitters um um school there's a school I I know about there um can't think of the name offhand of it. I think it's called Reliance in self reliance or something school. Uh, I, I forget the name of it anyways the school but I never been to any schools or anything I just learn bushcrafting and survival from basically just getting on the internet reading articles and and watching YouTube videos and getting out there so I'm just passing on what I know to help people out that might stumble upon this video and don't know much about this stuff and and they would like to learn so pass on my knowledge you know so hope you like this sort of video and Comment below your thoughts on, on this life tent and article and stuff and comment on, you know, have you ever used Mylar products and what you thought and stuff. Comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this sort of video. If you're new to this channel and you happen to stumble upon this video, please be kindly and hit that red subscribe button because you'll help out Boomhouse 69 now and reaching your goal. And again, I want to take the time to thank you all for watching this video and for those of you who already subscribe and watch my videos, I thank you kindly and hope you all have a good day and, and enjoy the weather.